Alright, Frontline Teach, this is Val. I'm here to do the last of five videos on CD4 and viral load uh, tests. What I'd like to talk to you about is kind of a doozy. Uh, it's called the Rule of Three. And the Rule of Three says, from a statistical point of view, a viral load test is different from the one before it significantly or meaningfully different from the one before it, only if it's three times bigger or smaller. I know. What? Uh-huh. It's only different if it's three times bigger or smaller than the last viral load test result. The question is why. Uh, and when we're looking at a tablespoon of blood and trying to count all of the viral particles in it, all the virions in it. Um, there's always a lot of noise or static in the viral load test. We're dealing with things that are very tiny and the test thinks that everything that's the size of HIV is HIV, but it might be something else entirely. So the test makes its best guess um, and it doesn't know enough to really I do a, like a firm identification of HIV. It's doing it based on size and reaction. So the, the test guesses the best it can. Um, and the bigger the change from one test result to the next, the more meaningful that change is, statistically speaking. Um, because the amount of noise or the amount of confusion that the test has uh, is about the same, but the actual amount of HIV is higher. So um, this is this is confusing for a lot of people, um, but what's important to remember is that a viral load change, you know, from one test result to another that seems big in real numbers might not actually be that big of a change. Uh, there, so there's less to worry about than it seems. Um, and again, we never want to make a rash or a big decision based on one test result. We are always going to want to do the test result over again. But here's example A. Um, in January, Sam gets a viral load test and his, his result is 100,000. And in April, four months later, his test result is 200,000. So in quote unquote real numbers, his viral load doubled. But we want to apply the rule of three to this. So from the first test result times three, so 100,000 times three equals 300,000. His new viral load test result is less than 300,000. So actually this does not count as a statistically significant change. It looks like it's double the amount, but it's actually not cause for alarm. So let's look at example B. Last September, Sue's viral load was 60,000. Uh, and she began treatment in October and took another viral load test in November that was 10,000. So applying the rule of three again, 60,000 divided by three is 20,000 and 10,000 is less than 20,000. So this does count as a signif sig statistically significant change. Her new viral load count is significantly lower than the last one. Um, it's sort of like a bank account here. Like when you have a lot of money in your bank account, each dollar is less important in the big picture. So like, let's say that, you know, someone's balancing their bank account and they thought that they had 350 bucks, but actually they have 345 bucks in their bank account. Well, you know, that $5 is, you know, it makes a difference, but if somebody has a lot of money, it doesn't make that much of a difference. It's pretty close. But if you don't have much in your bank account, every dollar is more important. So if someone ha thinks they have $20 in their bank account, and actually they only have $15 in their bank account, that's like a quarter of what they thought that they had. Um, so the So the test is similar in that when we're dealing with smaller numbers, there's a, a smaller amount of variation 
makes the same amount of difference. So when we're dealing with bigger numbers, it takes more numbers to make a statistic difference um, in viral load test results. So here's the bottom line of all of this. CD4 test results tell us who may be at risk of serious illness right now. Viral load tests can help us figure out who may have low CD4s in the future um, if uh, medication isn't taken. And a change in viral load is significantly different only if the new test result is three times bigger or smaller than the last one. I thank you for your attention. Please complete the exercise in the Moodle uh, classroom and let me know if you have any questions.